Hey, M1. Wanted to take a moment and talk to you about water baptism. Uh, a couple questions. I got a little bit of notes here. The, uh, should I get baptized? What if I was already baptized? What if I was already baptized as a kid? What happens when I get baptized? And do I have to be baptized to go to heaven? Let's talk about those real quick. Should I get baptized? Every believer should be water baptized. Absolutely. Uh, every follower of Jesus should be water baptized. If you've never been baptized or can't remember if you've been baptized, you should be water baptized. The um, What about rebaptism? I was baptized before, Pastor. Should I get water baptized again? Depends what's happened. Was Did your faith go from a live faith to a dead faith for you know, 5, 10, 15 years? Uh, maybe you ought to get rebaptized. Was your uh, first water baptism when you are maybe age six, seven, or eight, and uh, your teenage years, your faith kind of went kind of dormant, and now you're in your 20s and you want to get baptized on your own decision, not with your parents' uh, suggestion? Yeah, go ahead and let's get rewater baptized. Nothing wrong with that. The, uh, if you were baptized as an infant, the scripture would probably indicate to us that uh, uh, water baptism is for believers, meaning you've made a personal choice to follow Jesus. We'd encourage you to get water baptized again. Uh, what happens when you're water baptized? Obviously, where you're dunked underwater, but what's the point of it? It's a physical picture of a spiritual reality. It's a symbolic burial. It's a symbolic uh, a burial of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. You're going under and coming up the same way he went into death and came out resurrected. It's a public declaration of a personal decision. Your faith in Jesus is absolutely personal, but there's nothing in the New Testament that indicates faith in Jesus is ever private. There's no such thing as a private faith. Go public with water baptism. Uh, do you have to be water baptized to be saved? No, we're saved by Jesus, by trusting in his forgiveness of us, uh, by confessing him as Lord. But if you are saved, you should be water baptized. Uh, the illustration I use is that of a wedding ring. Uh, uh, what does this ring mean? It means I'm married, right. Uh, could I be married and not have a ring? Mm, yeah, yeah. Could I be uh, have a ring and not be married? Sure. But the ring is a public symbol of something that's happened privately on the inside. If you have more questions about water baptism, feel free to give me a call at the church. We'd love Any of our pastors would love to chat with you. If we've got a water baptism scheduled coming up, please get registered and we'll have a conversation. And it can be the, one of the defining moments in your life. God bless. Bye-bye.